What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmers and welcome back to the series on JavaScript. In this video, we will learn about the while loop. More specifically, we will learn to repeat a block of code multiple times using the while loop. We will also learn about the do while loop in JavaScript. So let's get started. In programming, loops are used to repeat a block of code for a required number of times. For instance, if you want to show a particular message 100 times, we can write the message once and use the loop to show it 100 times. Before we dive into the code, let's first look at the syntax of the while loop. The while loop starts with the keyword while followed by the condition inside parenthesis. Here, if the condition evaluates to true, then the code inside the while loop will be executed. Then the condition is evaluated again. And if it is again true, the statements inside the while loop are executed again. This process continues and the statement inside the while loop is executed again and again until the condition becomes false. When the condition evaluates to false, the loop stops. Let's see one example. I'll use the while loop with condition one less than five and inside the while loop, let me print learning while loop. Similarly, in the next line, I'll say JavaScript is fun, which it is, as long as the code is working. Here, the condition one less than five is tested. In this case, this is true, so the statements inside the while loop will be executed. The condition one less than five is tested again, and since the condition is true again, inside the while loop, these two statements are executed. This will happen again and again, again and again, infinitely, until the memory runs out. This is an example of an infinite while loop. Let me run this code. And you can see that learning while loop and JavaScript is fun is printed again and again and again. To avoid the infinite loop, we need to make our condition false at some point. So I will create a variable count. So I can say let count equals one. Now inside the condition, I will say count less than five let me put some spaces here instead of one less than five. And inside the body of the while loop, I will add a statement to increase the value of count by one. Count equals count plus one. Here, this code increases the value of count by one each time the condition is true. So for every iteration, the value of count will be increased and ultimately it becomes five. And when it becomes five, our condition count less than five or five less than five will be false. And that is when the loop will be terminated. So let me run this code. As you can see, the messages learning while loop and JavaScript is fun are printed one, two, three, and four times. Here, initially the value of count is one. So count less than five is true. And that's why these three statements are executed. Now this final statement has increased the value of count by one. Now the value of count is two. Two less than five is still true and that's why this is printed. Now the value of count is three. Three less than five is true. Again, we get this printed. Four, four less than five is true. So two more statements. Now when count becomes five, five less than five is false and we exit the loop. Since there's nothing after the file loop, nothing else is printed. To see the value of count increased every time, I can print the value of count inside the program or inside the while loop. So let me add a console log. Let me do it before I increase it. So I'll say console log count. Now when I run the program, you can see the value of count was one, two, three, and four. And when it became five, the code inside was not executed. If you're enjoying this video, please also check out Program is Pro, where we provide tutorials along with quizzes and challenges, which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also, the course includes projects to give you an awesome experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscribers, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. Now one interesting example of using the while loop would be to show the multiplication table up to 10 for the number that's passed in by the user. Let's see how we can do that. I'll start by creating a variable 
called number so I'll say const number equals obviously I want it to be a number so I need to do parse int and prompt to get the input from the user so enter a number then I'll create a count variable to the with the value 1 so I can say let count equals 1 now by now you must know the difference between const and let if you don't you can always go to programis.com and learn more about this since I'm printing the multiplication table up to 10 I'll use the while loop to run for 10 times let me use while count less than 10 and I'll put the curly braces inside the while loop I want to multiply the number passed by the user with the count and increase the value of count by 1 so that the multiplication table has an incremental object every time so I can say const product equals number times count and then I can say console.log product so I want to print the value and at the end because I want to exit the loop after 10 times I need to increase the value by 1 now when I run the program it says enter a number I can press 9 and as you can see the multiples of 9 were printed I should have done count less than or equals to 10 so that I can get 9 times 10 as well I'll press run and I'll press 9 and I got the value till 90 we got only the multiples of 9 as the output because here I'm only console logging the product and nothing else now let's look deeper into what happened inside the loop I am multiplying the number that the user entered with the value of the count variable now at the beginning the count variable is 1 so the product will be 9 for instance 9 times 1 and I print that to the screen now the value of count is increased to 2 so this time the product again 2 less than or equals 10 is still true so product becomes number or 9 times 2 this goes on until count is 11 and that's when we exit out of the loop now a good thing to do when printing the output is to give some more useful information so let me change the console log by adding a template string and printing the variables like this so I'll replace this and I'll say console.log now for template strings we use, the, we use the tilde and inside I'll say dollar number so that interpolates the variable value inside the string and I can say times dollar count equals dollar product so here I put a string with three interpolated values for number count and product let me put a semicolon here and now when I press run I'll press 9 and you can see that I get a nicer output okay guys we need all your support to keep these types of content free for all users YouTube really likes engagement on the video so leave a comment below press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses in JavaScript there's another version of the while loop known as a do while loop the working of a do while loop is similar to that of the while loop with one major difference but before we learn more let's start with the syntax of a do while loop the do while loop starts with the keyword do followed by the loop statements then a while keyword is used with the condition inside the parenthesis at first the statements or the code inside the loop are executed then the condition is evaluated if the condition evaluates to true the body of the loop is executed again after that the condition is checked again so this keeps on repeating until this condition is false let me explain this with an example so let's just write a simple do while loop to print numbers from 1 to 5 it's very similar to what we have done with the while loop so I'll just say let count equals 1 and inside the do I can say console.log count and console.log oops sorry count equals count plus 1 and the condition here will be count less than equals 5 here the count variable has value 1 we have used the same condition inside the while loop 
as before so it says count less than or equals 5 the only major thing that's changed is that the statement or the condition is at the end instead of at the beginning now when i run the program i get the desired output of numbers from 1 to 5 now you must have noticed that the working of the do while loop looks very similar to that of the while loop however there's one major difference between them to understand the difference let me first modify this code i'll change the value of count to 5 let me do 6 now this condition is false right from the beginning now let me see what happens when i press run this is strange because the condition was false right from the beginning but still we got 6 as the output this is because in a do while loop the action is performed once before even evaluating the condition so the value of count was 6 console.log count printed the output as 6 counts value became 7 and even though this condition was false it was just executed once because this is the do while loop and not the while loop since the working of the do while loop is so similar to that of the while loop we can also use it to print the multiplication table we did before so go ahead and print the multiplication table using a do while loop instead of a while loop as practice Another little programming task you can do is to use the while loop to print the multiplication table for the given number input by the user but this time you have to print the multiplication table from 10 to 1 or the reverse multiplication table. The output would look something like this. You'll find the answer to this question on GitHub. Also if you want to revise these concepts you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository. I'll put the link in the video description below. Now that we've reached the end of this video it's time for the programming quiz. So the question for today is which of the following causes an infinite loop? Comment your answer below and happy programming!